talking to uh, walking to my friend's dorm right now, apartment. Gonna get some uh, inside feedback on uh, the housing situation at Rowan. You know, get people's opinions on it. See what they think. Hi, I'm Annie Palmer. Um, what year are you? I'm a sophomore at Rowan University. And what's your major? I am a journalism major. Awesome. So, how do you feel about the housing? Um, it totally sucks. Uh, my freshman year, I got my number one housing where I wanted to live. This year, got my number one housing where I wanted to live. And this year, I applied for housing uh, the minute that you were allowed to sign up for the lottery, and I didn't get it. Me and three of my other roommates didn't get it. So one of my roommates did, so now she's screwed out of living with us, which sucks. And we had to find off-campus housing because we got put on the waiting list. And they said that even if we stayed on the waiting list, we wouldn't be getting it. So that sucks. And now I have to find money to pay for off-campus housing, even though I'm a broke college kid. Broke college kids. How do you feel about the housing situation here at Rowan? Normally, I think it's really good. I think the freshman housing is, is pretty good compared to other schools around here, at least. Um, I lived in Mimosa last year, and I loved it. I loved the suites, and I loved my suite mates, and I loved my floor. So that good job, was Rowan. Cool. Um, the rooms are decent size. Now I live in Edgewood, and I love it here also. Um, for next year, we unfortunately didn't get housing because of all the mold issues in the townhouses. But um, luckily, we got housing in crossings. So we kind of lucked out with that, and uh, things are going to be good for us. Okay. Hi, I'm Melissa, and I'm a sophomore here at Rowan University. Okay, and uh, what's your major? I major in sociology. All right. Um, how do you feel about the housing in Rowan, at Rowan? Do you really want me to tell you? <laughs> it really frustrates me. Frustrates. <laughs> because I've been living with the same girl, my great roommate, Colleen, for two years, and now we're being forced to separate. That's unfortunate. It is unfortunate, because she does everything for me, and I can't breathe without her, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. They're close. Really close. And, so, uh... Why aren't you guys rooming next year? Well, because me, my other roommate Carly, and the other roommate Annie did not receive housing this year, mm. which becomes an issue because uh, Colleen did receive housing, and she is now going to live by herself, and we had to go off campus, which okay. was obnoxious and annoying. <sighs> I feel iffy about it. Why do you feel iffy? Freshman year, things worked out. I mean, I didn't get my first option that I wanted. Mm -hmm. I got my last option, but things still worked out. I had a good year. I lived with someone that I liked. Going great. So, we wanted to live together next year, but on campus, not off campus because we didn't really have the funds, we didn't think. So, we applied for the housing lottery, all four of us, when we could, at the date that we could. And we applied to find that only I was available to live on campus broke my heart let me tell you <laughs> because <laughs> I'm now separated from my roommate for two years and um I have to live with random people but the worst part about it is since I don't have any friends to live with I have to wait four days after the rest of the sophomores to register too as really? if it's not bad enough really yeah. mm-hmm as if it wasn't bad enough that I got separated from all my roommates they're going to live off campus on uh, campus crossings and I just have to hope for something <laughs> I don't mm -hmm. know what solutions do you think they could do to improve the housing here? Well, they said that the reason this happened was because they took double the amount of freshmen, so instead of doing that, they should take the normal amount of freshmen because I think it's kind of absurd that you take double the amount of freshmen that you can house. Things. Um, I think they need to be more conscientious of all that stuff. Conscientious. They need to be more careful of how many freshmen they're letting in, and they need to take care of whatever problems are going on aesthetically in the apartments and stuff like that because really screwed a lot of people out of housing and it's not fair because a lot of people don't know what to do now. Yeah. So Maybe build more because I understand mm -hmm. that they're trying to increase the student population, especially now with the merger with Rutgers Camden. Um, I mean, most of those students are going to be staying in Camden, but I think that if they're going to work on building the school, then they need to find money somewhere in the budget to build more housing because... It can become an issue like with our roommates. I mean, I only live 20 minutes away, so it's not an issue for me, but other people were 
like threatened with the chance of having um, to commute and that would not work out for all students. So I think that they should work on that. Um, well, I think maybe they should reconsider their building plans because clearly something went wrong and all of the housing has mold in it, mm. which takes out half the housing. So, I mean, I think they should look into fixing that. Okay. And they could also look into maybe perhaps building more housing. Okay. Um, now, if they were to build more housing, how would they, you know, get the money to do that, you know? It would be, like, through, like, fundraising, raising tuition. How would you think would be the best option? I mean, I'm no business major, so I really don't know. But uh, I'm sure there's ways they could get around that, especially if we're going to be merging with uh, the Rutgers Camden campus. Mm -hmm. They're going to need to, you know, make some changes. How hard was it to find off-campus housing? It became difficult. We started looking at houses because we thought that would be the best option, but... We realized they were all very, very expensive, couldn't afford it. Mm -hmm. So then we went over to Campus Crossings, and it's still kind of expensive, but we'll make, we'll make it work. Pretty hard because obviously living in a house with only two other people is expensive, and most of the houses are kind of far away, and with only one person having a car, it kind of makes it inconvenient. So now we're living in Campus Crossings, which is a nice alternative, but when you wanted to live on campus, it doesn't really help. How far away do you live from Rowan? Actually. I live two hours away. Two hours away. And they told me that maybe I should look into um, commuting. See. As if that's an option, really. And that's, that's pretty ridiculous, don't you think? Yeah. Yo, man, did you hear about that party? That party was party. Yo, I saw oh you get God. with that girl over yeah. there, right? I saw you doing your thing over there. Yeah, you know, you know, dancing on a few, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, right. You ready to go, you ready to go sleep, man? Uh, of course. Yo, do you want anything to eat, man? <laughs> no, I'm gonna go to like, the pantry. No, no, I'm good, I'm good. Are you sure? Alright, man. Eh, we don't have anything to eat anyway. No, man, we got a long day tomorrow. God, it's so good to be back here. Yeah, I, get to, I get to sleep on this nice bench. This oh. nice cheetah blanket. No pillow. God, it's so good to feel oh. on my head right now. Yo, I get this nice pillow, yo. Rowan got me this. God, we, dude, we have like the best housing in all of Rowan right now. The best housing. It's like in the center of everything. We don't need any air conditioning or anything. Yeah, we got that breeze going on. That wind. Yeah. God. And they all, there's like a bunch of whole scenery everywhere. Yeah, man. Who needs a house? God. About to get her done. And um, we learned a lot so far about the housing here at Rowan University. Weird mood, I don't know. <laughs> With the five o'clock somewhere <laughs> sign. Don't worry about this. Excuse me, I'm doing an interview here. Um, sorry. Um, I forgot my question. A struggle bus. <laughs> <laughs> On an off, um, off housing campus, off housing. Yeah. Off campus housing. Off campus um, housing. It was anyway. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> I love my friends. Hi, I'm Nick Rodriguez. <laughs> Hello. Nick here. My favorite thing to eat without teeth is watermelon. What's your name and what year are you? Oh, okay. Just kidding. <laughs> Alyssa, right? Hi, my name's Alyssa. Um, what year are you? Stop touching. What's your major? Sociology. How do you like sociology? Love it. Great. Um. <laughs> I just hope that you miss me a little when I'm gone.